everybody doing tonight? All right, this is uh, definitely the biggest crowd I've ever found, so it is a little nerve-wracking. Um, as Larry said, I've competed in MMA, I've fought on TV, I've got my ass whooped on TV, and I'd rather be there than here right now, for sure. Um, yeah, you know, I've, I've always wanted to try stand-up, I've been a fan of it a long time, and everybody's told me, oh, you should give it a shot, you know, you're a funny guy, and I think sometimes I could be a funny guy. But now that I'm up here in front of you guys, uh, I don't really think I'm funny, I think I'm suicidal. <laughs> but I'm not really suicidal, that's a joke. Um, I just had a newborn, you know, my girlfriend and I. And, uh, can't be suicidal with a newborn unless they won't go to sleep anymore. So, but having a newborn and having this baby was amazing. And it really made me sit back and think about moms. You know, shout out to all the moms here. Uh, for everything you guys do. Moms are the real superheroes. They really, really are. I watched my girlfriend give birth to a 10 pound baby out of her vagina. Like ripped her in half. Okay, and less than 24 hours later, she's up cleaning the hospital room like she's getting paid to do it. Um, meanwhile, I'm over here trying to figure out like, can I leave work early? I'm walking a little funny after taking a big shit. <laughs> So, having a baby's great, you know, having children, it's awesome, you know, you, you, there's not a more proud moment in your life than having a, a little life that you, that, that is 50% you, is a part of you, just right there in your hands, and I've never been more proud of anything that only took me 30 seconds of effort. <laughs> All right, guys, that's the end of those jokes, but, uh... Holy shit! Would you just look at it? We're here for the New Year's Eve party, the comedy show. 2023 coming up. And uh, this is an annual event put on by the man Larry Downs Jr. Yeah, give it up for Larry. Larry's a hard man to describe. He's a, he's a good man. He's an odd man. He's got a great heart. But you can definitely tell he's been under a few too many houses back in the property. You know what I mean? <laughs> Larry's all about the COVID stuff. COVID-19 this, vaccinations that. He's all about statistics and numbers. Well, I looked up a study for you, Larry. Okay, 30% of us got the same exact information you do. Okay, 40% of us. <clears throat> oh, hold on, let's see the mask right here. Still trying to remember my joke. 40% of us don't really care. And 100% of us wish you would just move on to another topic. So you guys know the anti-government, political, videographer, YouTuber, harassing, borderline, psychotic Larry Downs Jr. But us originals know the promoter, coach, fighter Larry. The Larry that back in the day would put his own grandma in the ring. <laughs> my last thing I'm going to say on stage, I'm going to tell you a little story about my first pro fight. And anybody here that doesn't know, you're about to find out. Anybody here that does know, knows it's a, it was a pretty big deal. I had a talk with Larry, and we had this plan that I was going to drop weight. I was going to go pro. We were going to take six months. Get my body where it needed to be. Maybe take one more amateur fight and see where it goes. Then a week later, Larry calls me on the way to the gym. And he's like, hey, RJ, what you doing? And I said, I'm on, uh, on the way to the gym. Come to see you. What you doing? Oh, I, uh, I got you a fight. We're going we're gonna to turn pro. We got it. Come on. March. I was like, oh. Well, well who is it? Where is it at? What weight is it? Uh, it's, it's a great opportunity. It's going to be an island fight to the Civic Center. And uh, yeah, it, it, it's just awesome. We can't pass it up. We got to take it. O okay, but but who is it? Well, we're going to fight a heavyweight, okay? And uh, I'm, we're going to train our asses off. We've got this. All right, Larry, but will you please tell me who it is? Well, it, it's Shantae Williams. And those of you who don't know, this man's six foot eight, 250 pounds, looks like Adonis. Played for the Atlanta Falcons. So I say, oh, don't you owe me, motherfucker. This is it. This is it. Now, we can, we, this is 
the opportunity. We got it. Let's go. Come on. Oh, uh, Larry, I don't know, man. He's he's kind of big. You're big too, motherfucker. Who cares? Who cares? So I go. I do my training. I have to talk myself into it. The whole entire like fight community turn their backs on us. Me, Larry, and Todd. And they told, they reamed Larry a new asshole, man. Larry was on on Facebook fighting and arguing with the guy that I was supposed to be fighting. I didn't have to say a word. Larry did it all for me. <laughs> right? And uh, just everybody was, Larry, you're, this, this, is, this is absolutely terrible. You're going to get this kid killed. This is a, what, you know, this, this is just awful, Larry. It's a sacrificial lamb. Come on. Let's, what the fuck? And uh, so anyways, Larry, Larry takes me to the fight. He believed in me the whole way, and I ended up beating the guy in the first round. Yeah. Yeah. All good for the coaching of Larry and Todd. And uh, a couple days later, this video comes out. And it's something I didn't know happened during the fight. It's the best, best thing Larry's ever said, best quote ever. Um, when he dies, I'm going to put it at his funeral, I'm going to play it. And uh, again, like I said, everybody thought we were going to just be washed, that I was a, that I was just a, a bum. And so I beat the guy, who, you know, raised my hand in the ring, whatever, and Larry runs up to the camera on the apron with his cowboy hat and screams, sacrificial man, my ass! <laughs> so, um, I've got plenty more stories, but I'll save them for the next time. And uh, I really appreciate you guys having a good time.